Hi, my name is Andrea Nesbitt and you're at the Wild Horse Wind Facility. We have 149 turbines here powering 60 to 70,000 homes. Today I'm going to take you to the top of a 230 foot tower and show you how we convert that wind energy into electrical energy. The base of the tower is about 13 feet wide and we have the ladder in the back for our technicians to access the nacelle for maintenance. It's attached to the wall with magnets and we do that so we don't have to bolt or weld to the tower itself. We also have a high voltage cable running down next to the ladder carrying 34,500 volts that comes down from our transformer through a switch gear and then a series of underground cables takes it to our substation. At the top of the tower is the yaw gear, which uses four small electric motors to rotate the wind turbine into the wind to maximize power production. The yaw gear can do up to three and a half rotations before it has to unwind and go back the other direction. So here we have the hub hatch. This gives us access out into the hub. So this is where the blades are attached. The hub itself is right here. This is 20 tons of cast steel. Uh, the blades are bolted in with blade studs here and uh, they're also attached to the hydraulic system which allows them to pitch which means they can actually pivot their blade in or out of the wind and they've got about 90 degrees of range that helps them control their power output and also the speed of the rotor. We're looking at the main shaft here which connects out front to the hub and further back to the gearbox and it's transferring energy at about 16 and a half revolutions per minute. We've got a front set of bearings and a rear set of bearings right here. And on the other side, we have our hydraulic unit, which is pitching the blades in and out of the wind and also controlling our brakes when they're engaged. So now we've moved back behind the gearbox, which is this unit right here, it weighs just under 20 tons and it's speeding up our RPM from the front um, at the blades from 16 and a half RPM to over 1,800 RPM. It attaches um, via a flexible coupling right through here, goes into our generator. Now this is an induction generator, so we're using a big copper coil, an electromagnet, to convert that wind energy into electrical energy. The chain hoist above me uh, helps us lift tools in and out of the nacelle and we have a control system right here. A hatch door opens up in the floor and our technicians can lower that hook out the floor and pull up all of their tools into the nacelle that avoids them having to carry it up the ladder as they climb. So we're on the back side of the generator. We've got four 690 volt cables coming out of the generator that go to the back of the wind turbine to the transformer. And the transformer will step that voltage up to 34,500 volts. Um, also right up here is the air cooler for the generator. And that's just cycling air through a series of tubes to dissipate heat and help it operate efficiently. All right, I'm up here on the roof of a Vestas V80 wind turbine. And to my right is the ultrasonic wind speed sensor. And its job is to tell the computers within this turbine how fast the wind is going and what direction it's coming from. So that actually tells the yaw gear how to adjust or which direction to point the nacelle. And it also tells the blades what pitch they should be at to control their speed and their power output. While I can't take you to the top of the tower, you can join us for a guided tour at the Renewable Energy Center. We'll let you look inside of a generator, walk the length of the blade, and go into the base of a wind turbine. We hope to see you there.